In this video, we highlight the new features within Radiance for VE 2017. Radiance capabilities have now been extended to allow for dynamic daylighting calculation methods. You can now use Radiance IES climate-based daylight modelling technology to model the space performance. This utilises an annual simulation linking location, shading, climate data, including solar intensity and cloud cover, together with the building properties. This provides a complete overview on how the daylight performance varies throughout the year due to changes in these factors. The user interface has been reorganised slightly to accommodate these new features. The analysis will include performance against spatial daylight autonomy and annual sunlight exposure. Within the advanced type drop-down, we can see the new daylighting calculation methods, which along with vertical sky component and UDI now includes SDA and ASE. These calculations have been added to the Parallel Simulation Manager tool, meaning faster calculations and the ability to continue working while simulations are running. I've already completed simulation, so if we select a room, we can process the results. So here we can set the targets. With these settings, it's saying that we want to ensure that the space receives at least 300 lux or 28 foot candles of sunlight for at least 50% of the operating hours each year. The SDA calculation involves running individual simulations with and without blinds. This creates limits on the maximum and minimum daylight entering the space. From these data sets, a parsed result is created through defining a threshold for when the blinds will operate throughout the occupancy period. You can view numerical results by editing the filter, allowing the user the ability to visualise and communicate results at a highly detailed level. ASE is a more straightforward approach. Here we can also set the targets. With these targets, we're saying that the percentage of regularly occupied space receives no more than 1,000 lux for 250 hours each year. There is only one simulation process. A simulation with all the CBDM effects is produced to understand how much daylight is captured. The results are processed and you can easily identify areas of high sunlight exposure and therefore those that fail to meet the target. Daylighting varies throughout the year, primarily due to the solar position, so it is essential daylighting variance is properly considered towards the impact on building design. For the SDA analysis, the Surface Properties tab holds all the constructions and materials properties data. With simulations involving closed blinds, simply enter the surface properties of the blind and this is automatically assigned. To discover more about the new features in the VE, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit our website at isve.com.